So Mississippi gets called out a lot for our potholes and our roads have definitely earned that reputation. At least once a week, I forget to swerve to miss a pothole and my soul leaves my body. Now, a lot of this is self-inflicted because a lot of the money that could be going towards our roads and our infrastructure instead winds up going to things like golf courses. But we also face a unique challenge here in Mississippi by the name of Yazoo Clay. Whenever people move to Mississippi, they get acquainted with Yazoo Clay really quickly. It buckles our roads, it plays hell with our house's foundations, and it basically just makes all of our ground unpredictable. But what exactly is it, and how did it wind up here? So Yazoo Clay is a geological formation that's centered here in Mississippi, but it does extend into Louisiana and Alabama. It's named after the Yazoo River, which is very convenient because its actual name, Montmorillonite, is really tricky to say. And the clay tends to have a bluish gray, bluish green color, and kind of looks slimy. What makes Yazoo clay so difficult is that it changes its volume significantly when it's exposed to moisture. It's a little bit like one of those paper or straw worms that you used to make as a kid in a restaurant. You bundle up that tiny little wad of paper, put a little drop of water on it, and all of a sudden it expands. It expands and it contracts a lot more than most other grounds, and it tends to block water instead of letting it pass through. So if it's been unusually dry and you decide to build a house or a road, and then it rains a lot, then the ground underneath Beneath that project just balloons. It's almost like a slow motion earthquake and it causes cracks in the foundation and it turns your roads into roller coasters. Oddly enough though, if you build the project while the clay is wet and then it gets dry, significantly less damage. Essentially, Yazoo clay is a sea floor without the sea on top of it. It's sediments and a deposit that formed while Mississippi was completely underwater, which is why they're constantly finding prehistoric fossils in it, like dinosaurs and prehistoric whales. It's frustrating and it's expensive, but it's as much a part of Mississippi as finding the best fried chicken you've ever eaten in the back of a gas station. It also makes for a pretty good scapegoat whenever people complain about our roads, though I'll still say that our Ways and Means Committee are working hard to be public enemy number one. 